Take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, home point is where we took off from here. I'm going to roll the camera down so you can see the plywood piece that is my home point. And if I press return to home, it should come back and land automatically where it took off from here on this piece of plywood. But what we're going to do is fly it over there to the house. I have to go at least 20 meters away from the home point. Otherwise, when I trigger return to home, it'll just land wherever it's at. It has to be 20 meters away. So let's climb a bit, not into that tree, please, and fly over here. Oopsie flying very fast. Let's go back to C mode. C mode. There. So let us pretend that I'm having a normal flight but suddenly the wind picked up and I realize that the wind is too strong for me to bring it home and I don't want to have it go into automatic return to home mode because in fail safe mode it will climb to my setting of 50 meters where the wind might be even stronger. I just want to be able to set it down safely here. So what if... Oh yeah, I'm going to start from higher up to give myself time to talk here. We are at a height of 20 meters, 21, let's go to about 30 meters. Let's say I have chosen this spot as my emergency location where I want to ditch the thing while I still can, while I still have control. It is 35 meters away from the home point, so it should... If I activate return to home, it's going to climb to 50 meters, which I set in my settings, and turn for... Let's do that. I'm going to say return to home. Press the home button on the screen here. It brings up an option of land or return to home. If I say return to home, this is what it would normally do. Go home. It's above 20 meters already. It turns to face home, then it climbs to your return to home setting, which in my case was 50 meters. And once it gets to 50 meters, now it's going to start heading home. And once it's directly above the... Oh, look at that. I even have a strong wind warning. Once it's directly above my home point, that piece of car, uh, plywood there, it will start descending and automatically Landing. land here. I don't actually want it to land here. That's just to demonstrate what it would do if it went into return to home mode. I'm going to cancel that. Let's go back to in front of the house where I would prefer it to land. It is my chosen emergency ditching site. Front of the house is this way. I would like it to emergency land here. So same deal, if I press the home button on the screen here, I have a choice of return to home, which I don't want, or land, which I do want. I want it to land right there. If I hit land, it'll go into auto land mode and presumably land right in that spot. But what happens if on the way down it descends behind a hill or behind a forest or behind a tall building and I lose the control signal? Will it continue to land? Back in December when I did this test, it said no. The moment it loses signal, it reverts to return to home. It climbs back to the return to home altitude and tries to come home. And I don't want it to do that. I don't want it to land there. So let's just see if that has changed in this latest firmware version and fly app version. I'm going to hit land, and as it's descending to land, I'm going to turn the controller off to see if it continues to land in that spot or reverts to a return to home. So now land. Landing. It's landing, only I'm going to turn the controller off. Bingo, landing off. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. After eleven seconds, the there it goes. 
11 seconds it kicks into fail-safe mode because of loss of signal it's climbing it's turning to home at 20 meters it turns to face home then it continues to climb until it gets to my 50 meter return to home set altitude I'm turning the controller back on so I can cancel that because I don't actually want it to come back and land here so that has not been fixed however Okay, so now I'm connected again. I can tap the red X on the left corner here to cancel my return to home. It's directly overhead. It's going to come and land on my plywood piece. So that demonstrates that that function has not been fixed. You could select land and think it's going to land there, but it won't if it loses control signal on the way down. Anytime it loses control signal, it goes into its fail-safe mode which by default is return to home and I may not want it to return to home because if it has to climb up first into high winds it's gonna get carried away by the wind and will not be able to return to home aha I have the magic propeller warning thing motor speed error as well that's nice that's also new with this firmware version and for the moment, I'm going to ignore that. Turn that off. Yeah, acknowledge. I've seen it. Go away. But while we are talking about ditching options, if I press the three dots in the top right corner to bring up the menu here, uh, under safety, if you scroll all the way down, there is now a new advanced safety settings. You have a choice of what it'll do if the signal is lost. Return to home, descend, or hover. In this instance where, let me say, that, okay, I'm flying in a high wind situation, which is stupid of me. I'm finding that the drone is not capable of returning to me in the high wind. I want to safely ditch it somewhere. What you gotta do before trying to ditch is change this setting to instead of return to homes change it to descend that way even if your control signal is lost on the way down instead of reverting to return to home it should continue to descend on its own and automatically land I wouldn't recommend changing this for everyday flying, because if you're flying over a lake or something and you lose signal, you don't want it to descend into the lake. This is only for, I have chosen a spot that I want to safely ditch the plane in, the drone in, and I definitely want it to land there even if the signal is lost. So this is to demonstrate what happens then. I've changed my default signal lost setting to descend. And I better remember to switch that back later. <laughs> so now, give me some little height just so that uh, we have time to mess with this. And we are facing the house here. And we are further than 20 meters from the recorded home point. We're at 30 meters or so. Point the arrow straight down. The camera down over my landing circle here. And in this case, if I... Uh, let's go up. In this case, let's say that is the spot I want the thing to land in. And I can manually just hold the throttle down until it lands there. That's fine. But if manually on the way down it loses signal, again, it would have automatically jumped into return to home. This time it will automatically jump into continue to descend. So that's the test. I'm going to... Um, I could even just shut the controller off right now and it should land right there. Or even if I push the home button here, I'm outside of my 20 meters and I say land, it's landing. landing. Now I'm going to turn the controller off to simulate loss of signal. Come on, off. There, it's off. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It should have 11 seconds in kicked into its automatic failsafe mode and it is still landing. 
Okay, it got within about a two meters of the landing. I'm seeing it. <laughs> and it slowed its descent. It's still landing. It's still landing. And it landed. Yes, sir. Turn the controller back on so we can see that. And it's beeping. It's doing its find my drone beeping noise once it landed over there. That's cool. Or no, that is the, the motor speed of the ESC beeping the signal I gotta change one of my props. And is it one of the rear? Yes, it is the right, no, both rear. Both rear props are bit doing its buzzing. No, it's only the left rear that's buzzing. Cool. I'm gonna stop this, stop that recording, and I will show you a video of that.